we got to talk about, man, our guy, Daz. Dillinger, mm-hmm. yes. Swaggy. Swaggy, the first Swaggy P. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Shout out to Daz, Dillinger, and the dog. Shout out man. to Daz, man, our guy, man. First of all, yeah. you got to love Daz, man, because he comes with receipts, man. Let's stop the cap, man. He comes yeah, with receipts. Fact. So he'll say something crazy. But he backs it up. But he backs it up. So the first one he talked about, he talked about DJ Scandler's favorite rhymer, Jay Z. <laughs> Go in, DJ. So, Go, DJ. first of all, we got to talk about what he said about Jay Z. First of all, he said yeah, yeah. Jay Z yeah. owes him the bread. Pull out the bread, Bebo. It's already pulled out. The bread. Come on, now. Look so, if y'all don't man. understand the game, man, check mm-hmm. this out real quick. Just real quick, man. For Jay writing the, the, the Steel DRE verse. So, when you look at whosample.com, it says they implicated serial killer in Steel Dre, which they did mm. when they took my line. If you ain't up on things, oh. Snoop Dogg is the name, Dog Pound's a gang. Yeah. And they put it in Steel Dre. If you ain't up on things, Dr. Dre is the name of my head of my gang. <laughs> so in my mind, Jay-Z was listening to Serial Killer while he was writing that motherfucking rhyme. Do you get paid? And I want to get my money for that. <laughs> no, I, Wait. I sent Dr. Dre and them a letter and they... Sit a thousand lawyers at me. Yeah, it's 20 years later. Why would you? Oh. Leave? You know, I'm getting my shit together mm-hmm. now. Music has no statute of limitation. So, Jay Z, oh. I'm going to need at least a couple of percentages. I'm caught you niggas' hands in the cookie Ooh. jar. So, you can pay me now <laughs> under the money. table. We can make this being, or I can add these 20 more writers because, you know, when you use any part of a song, you have to pay all the writers. But it's my verse. Mm. And the shit that you took for me, well, I take the money under the table. Or if I got to fight for my music and take you to court and do all that type of shit, I'm out. going for the whole no. justice. I'm going to call RBX. The rest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Shout oh. out to Daz, man. Daz Dillinger. Salute. Yeah, man. First of all, is anything that he's saying scandalous, J. Kemp, Bebo P, in the chat? The chat's going crazy right now. Is any of this cap? Scandalous set it off for us. Set it off for us, Scandalous. Definitely not, because if you look at the serial killer song, he says the same line there, and he says Snoop Dogg's up in the game, right? He has that line in that track. Everybody knows me. I don't care who I attack, whether the outlaws or anyone at death row, anyone that disrespects Pac, you know. But Daz Dillinger is right here. He wasn't paid for over 20 maybe 22, 23 years. And it's actually kind of crazy that he actually just found out about this right now. And mm. But it, it, maybe it's a blessing because we see all these artists from the 80s and 90s that eventually do not make all the royalties <laughs> anymore because they're so far in their career in their 40s and 50s. So maybe it's a blessing that he actually spotted this now because now he has 22, 23 years of royalties that's owed to him. Mm. Now, if I'm Jay-Z and I'm Dr. Dre, Maybe I might consider paying him under the table because what he said there I about having all the songwriters. So it, if he would actually take them to court, RBX could come at him. Any background singer can come at him. And that, that could be five, six, seven, eight, maybe 10 writers on that track that will now get a split of those profits that either Dr. Dre gets or whoever owns that track. I don't know if it's Dr. Dre that still owns that track or the company that he sold it to. So I, I think that company may actually just want to pay dads under the table. And it is what it is. But this goes back to what I say about Jay-Z and the reason, you know, I like Jay-Z, but (laughs) I question his pen. And now, you know, the biggest song that he gloats about with LeBron, he just started talking about it like maybe like a year ago that he wrote this for Dr. Dre. Now, the the hook in the actual track is actually from Daz Dillinger because he says this is like that and like, you know, this. And he did that song. He did say say that too. He did say it. So get to do his dough. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, I, I, I don't know if I heard you all the way right, but I, but I, I, felt, I felt a little something scandalous. Look at Miss LB again. calling out everybody or not. Hey, no, she, no, she, she's like the punisher, dog. She's good. Right. Where's Nino? Frank Castle. <laughs> Where's Nino? Miss LB Castle. Miss LB Castle. Miss <laughs> <Castle, dog. Come laughs> LB Castle. Come. I didn't, uh, Frank was Castle's was wife. <laughs> God, you that man is what? It's dope. Money, dog. Come <laughs> on. I, you know what? It sounds like a phone call need to be made. <laughs> 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 